Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I've already done this gag. Sorry. It, you know, out of all the things that are difficult with being a streamer, I think the most difficult one so far, gotta be honest, is coming up with different ways to say hi to your people. Your your children. Now, my dad didn't say hi to me for some years after I was born. So, I know how it is. So maybe I got it from him, I don't know. Anyways, as you could see from that save file list, or maybe you didn't. First of all, I feel like the game is lower in volume. But also, I adjusted the microphone. I noticed that my peas were popping last night. I'm going to, first of all, try to fix that. I'm going to try not to expel as much air when I utter the P. And I also moved the microphone back a little bit and just raised the gain because it might sound slightly worse, but the P's will hopefully be less violent. Um, not unlike... A night of heavy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, sorry. Let's go. What was I doing? I need to find like a shrine. Um, oh, that's right. I put it on the thingy. Okay, so let's go down here to pin. I wonder if that's the name of the shrine. I'm just kidding. I know that's not the name. That would be ridiculous. But considering the naming conventions they have of the shrines in this game, I honestly wouldn't be at all surprised if that were the name. S Wait, did I finish the thought on the save files? Okay, just in case I didn't, let me restart. The save files, as you should have seen, I did not play this game after our stream last night. I am proud of myself, and I think you should be proud of me too, because I was actually really, really wanting to play last night. I even asked Jugnal, I was like, Jugnal, do I have your blessing to play this game off stream? And he was like, no. He even threatened to stop being my friend if I didn't play on stream. If I played off stream, he was going to stop being my friend. He didn't really say that, but he did have some good advice. He said, for this first period where I'm still exploring the world, still learning all the mechanics, it would be fun to document that discovery. And... I'm kind of putting words in his mouth on this one, but I think it's it sounds similar to when when I watch people play games for the first time that I love and I forget what it was like to play them for the first time. It's a way to recapture that wonder. Like sometimes you play a game for so long that you forget the the intrigue. You forget the learning process. You forget like how you you become so comfortable with the mechanics that you don't actually that you don't you're no longer fascinated i guess if that makes sense like when i see people play donkey kong country for the first time like when i play it it's it's so different from how they play it but in this case, I actually don't mind that because it's fun to see people learn on their own. And that's why I think that's where the the backseating hatred comes from. I think. Uh-oh. Uh, where is the cutoff for the snow? I think it's... No, it's not right here? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ah! No! 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 Oh! I thought that would be like the Mario thing where you jump and to stop yourself from taking fall damage you actually like do a butt bounce or something at the very bottom no pun intended <laughs> cuz the bottom I'm 29 so oh dear God. Listen, they... Oh, that's their fault. I'm not taking the blame for that one. 
That was entirely the game's fault. I'm actually very concerned about this save spot. I wish it would send me somewhere where I'm not dying of frostbite. But I think that, you know, the, the animosity I have towards backseating, I think it stems slightly from that. It's like when I'm watching someone else, I get frustrated when someone's backseating. Like, oh, go here, go do this, do that. I, I just hate that. I, I prefer to watch people play the game and explore it their own way. Yes, that can open it to being tedious. I understand. Like someone will run around the same great plateau for three and a half hours and still not be even close to ready to leave. But at the same time, that's how they play. And I don't know, there's a certain charm to it. Some people find it tedious, some people find it frustrating. I, I find it tedious sometimes, yeah, but I also appreciate the the different perspective. I appreciate the way someone is playing is so wildly different from you, you know? I like that. And that's why I hate backseating, I hate backseaters. Uh, and it doesn't matter if they're in my stream or someone else's, I just don't like it. And I should probably work on that. I do call out people that are backseating in other streams. And sometimes it works in my favor. Sometimes the streamer is like, yeah, can you maybe tone it down a little bit? It's like they don't really have the heart to tell the person, like, please, like, I appreciate the help, but please don't backseat. Which I completely understand as well. Because I've been in that situation uh, where I did tell someone, please stop backseating, and it caused a falling out. <laughs> like, what can you do? I, I, It was specifically in Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3. It's not in the playthrough anymore. I cut those parts out. That's why we actually redid about half the game. Because that backseater was there the whole time, and I hated it. I I messaged them later, and I wasn't mean about it. I was just like, listen, I do appreciate the, the passion. I appreciate the, the tips and hints, but I also would appreciate if you'd let me explore the game myself, because I've played it uh, myself. There's no need for the backseating. Just let me play it. Let me play it my own way. And... They never came back, and I'm sad. Like, I, I hope they're okay, genuinely. I didn't mean to scare them off. I was trying to be very diplomatic. Like, please don't backseat, but I still appreciate the help. You know? That's all it is. Hmm. Okay, so I do have a shield equipped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna parry this guy to heck. Oh, interesting. Nice. Okay, so I'm wondering if if it would be a good idea to try and take Like can you burn their weapons by any chance? Is that something you can do? Maybe we'll try that next time. Oh, and I could have shot that down, maybe, and it would have hit them? Maybe? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Take? Oh, that's right. You don't pick things up with the, the Y button like you do in Animal Crossing. I was wondering, why isn't Y working? <laughs> uh, I want to shoot it down, but I also don't want to die. So we're going to shoot it down. I trust. Yay! No. No. Not yay. Okay, we need to use a leaf. Oh, no. No! Ah! 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 No! No! Ah! There we go. Come on. Yes. Nope. Come on. Come on. You can't take my leaf. Go away! Go away! Oh, no. Okay, this is getting bad. Let's see if we can- No! Why'd you pull out your bow and arrow? Link! I'm trying to run, bro! Oh no. 
Okay, so bees don't like water. Oh, uh, take the arrow. Bees don't like water. So where should we go? We should go into the water. But where's the water? That's a dangerous thing. I don't know. Stop asking me questions. I'm so anxious right now. We're about to die. Oh, wait, we don't have to be about to die. Actually, I can just take some food. I made all these skewers. I might as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice hunk of hunk of. Where? Wait, why am I going? That's right. I was trying to go up there and then it was too cold. Uh, this lake was definitely shaped by the same person that did the Little Mermaid VHS cover. Just saying. I wonder, let's see, do I have the spicy peppers? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's go cook these. But I don't know where I could cook them other than, like, on that fire right there. But it, wouldn't it be better to use a pot of some sort or a pan? I guess we'll see what happens. Okay. Can I fan the flames at all? Oh, I can. I probably shouldn't. I feel like that's probably going to run in, we're going to run into some issues, but cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Okay. Sounds like that might be a big boy, big boy thing. So I don't think we'll try to do it quite yet. Can I pick this up right now? I can't. Okay. Let me hold some peppers. Uh... Let's just, let's see what one does if I throw it in. Nope, that wasn't enough. Bubba Gum! Welcome in! How's it going? Nice of the bees to stop for you to have a skewer break before skewering you. <laughs> yeah! They're pretty nice. Those those are some nice bees. I, I was okay with them. Their existence is not... Am I just... Uh, okay, I'm scared. I, it's a single pepper. Let's just put it down. Happy Easter, Jugnal. Oh, that's right. I should have put Happy Easter. I was going to. I was going to put Happy Easter in the title or something. Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? After we figure out how to make this pepper spicy with heat, I'm going to change the title slightly, because that is kind of important. Not for, like, people to see the stream or anything. It's, it's not for that. It's because I want to celebrate Easter, obviously. But happy Easter, everybody. Okay. Good. Come on. Yes! Wait. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I feel like you sh- I don't think that's right. <laughs> so maybe I do need a pot. What kind of mushrooms do you need to make a chug jug? <laughs> So, I don't actually know yet. The Hylian shrooms aren't quite blue enough for it, but y you might be able... No! Oh! Actually, I do know. It's the Weeping Woods. They have a bunch of blue mushrooms there, but unfortunately, I don't know where the Weeping Woods are. I don't think I can access them quite yet, but that's a great question. I'll definitely be looking into doing that when I can. Oh, it's a cabin and a pot. I love pots. I love pots. They're so good. Let's go, dude. Um, I got some more shrooms. These are just stamina shrooms. Stamina shrooms, I mean. 
This is a Hylian shroom. Dude, I'm getting it. Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Man. How's it going? I want to cook some some peppers. Is that okay, buddy? So I'm going to just throw one in. And you tell me when to stop. Spicy. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Alright, now I just need to do that ten more times. I guess... I'll do it... I'll do it five more times. Just so you guys don't get annoyed. Now if we get a two heart sautéed thing... Maybe every recipe is like that. Wait, wait, hold on. Did that say... Okay. The first one had 230, didn't it? <gasps> Wait, you get more time depending on which... Oh! I wonder what the max is. Like, if I put eight of them... Sorry. Five of them in. Is that going to give me five hearts and... Whatever five times two minutes, 30 seconds is? That should be easy, shouldn't it? Hold on, I can do it. I can do it. So 10 minutes. And then... Okay, so it's 12 and a half minutes. Let's see if my math is right. Or should I just focus on doing the 10s? Or not the 10s, sorry, the 2s. Uh, I don't know. Okay, 5 minutes, good, good. The reason I'm doing this is because I have to get to the mountain to go to the next shrine, I think. If not, then... Well, that's pretty cool. What? What's the not like this about? Can You can't stand that I know math better than you? I know math gooder than you? Yeah, me too. It's okay, you know, my mom is actually Alfred Einstein, so it kind of comes naturally to me, literally. It's all I know. Uh, two. Uh, I want to try the five. Let's see if it's 12 and a half minutes and five hearts. Okay. Let's do it. I feel feel nervous, but I think it's going to work. Oh my actual gosh. I've done it. Maybe this the recipes really are that easy. No, don't eat it, you ding dong. I thought with the, the skewers, I was like, oh, I'm sure the recipes aren't going to be that easy all the time. It's like one equals one heart, one and two equals two hearts. But no, this seems, seems pretty good. Oh, hi. Should I talk to you? Fancy that, so we meet again. Bye. Oh, ho. If you still wish to acquire the paraglider, you must put in the effort. I will not simply give it away, you see. Well... Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm just using your pot. Like, you have it out here. You didn't stop me. What's wrong with you? Okay. Oh, I think I heard about this. Read. I didn't excel in math to be stumped by numbers that end in 60 but not 100 for some reason. Gosh dang, why do we measure minutes per 60? <laughs> uh, I think that's just how time works, man. I don't know what to say. 24 hours it's I think it makes sense I don't know I think I've just been lied to by the institution I'm sorry on this desolate plateau the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking today I outdid myself truly I created the perfect dish I call it spicy meat and feet food fry <laughs> this recipe not only restores health but it also keeps me warm even when traveling in the snowy mountains with this dish on my side, I no longer have need of that itchy, warm doublé. Doublet. Doublé. Michael Doublé's Christmas album. 
I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper, however, I simply cannot remember what else I used. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I don't like where this is going, only my own knowledge and memory to rely on still, if I did find someone who knew this missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublé. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Okay, so I was told the ingredients, but I forgot them. So now, I will pretend to know what I'm doing. It, it had spicy pepper, it had fish. I think. Hi. Boar. It was boar and fish. But where's the fish? Where, where do we get a fish around here? There's no, like... There's no water. Where's the fishies, bro? If time was a man-made construct, why is it not measured efficiently? <laughs> You're asking the right questions to the wrong person. See, I'm... I'm indoctrinated permanently into... Big time capsule, so... I can't even... Think about life without time. It sounds like you would have excelled... Living with the dinosaurs, though. Even though last night I was talking about how... They... Dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure, did tell time. It's just... Scientists are lying to us, saying that they didn't because scientists don't want us to believe that dinosaurs were smarter than us. Even though it's not hard to imagine that something could be smarter than humans, because, uh... Have you seen the world? Not just recently, but, like, ever? Yeah. I know, it's crazy. So, I'm not sure where to get the fishies. Is it in a barrel, maybe? Ooh. <gasps> maybe you can pitchfork it. You can pitchfork a fish out of the thing. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. This is amazing. Uh, oh boy. Sharpened bones jabbed into it. Uh, reinforced. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll drop this one, actually. I want to get this pitchfork real quick. 60 was a number concocted by big time to slow our time calculations down to keep us from time traveling eons into the past to pet dinosaurs. It all makes sense. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. We cracked the case, Watson. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this journey with me. What the heck are these things? They're like... Like fireflies. Don't even, Jugnall. Or anyone. Don't reference the song. I will... I will ban every single person that references that song. <laughs> Although, Rev Joshi pointed out that Jokingly banning people is no longer fun because when you ban someone, they can't see the chat at all. Which is good. I like that. But like, what if I just want to ban someone for a couple minutes for singing a stupid song that needs to never have been released ever? That's when I have a problem. <gasps> oh, wait. There's a gap. I could have gotten an axe with me. I wonder what to do. Oh, Jugnall, Jugnall, Jugnall. Sorry, man. Ah. Bubba Gump, I'm sorry, man. I gotta... Oh no, that deleted- oh no, okay. See, that's why you shouldn't ban people. It's like... 
Okay, untime out. <laughs> untime out. This is the slowest thing ever. Oh my god. According to my phone, a massacre just occurred in my stream, so I'm sorry. But that's what you guys get. You can't you can't be referencing songs, bro. It's just not you can't do it. You should both be untimed out though, by the way. Hopefully. I hope it worked. <laughs> if it didn't, I'm gonna feel super bad. Like a Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill movie about high school. That still holds up today, by the way. I watched it a month or two ago. It holds up really well. And by a month or two, I think it was actually like six months ago, but it always feels like one month. Oh, 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 hey, what's up? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bubba Gum. <laughs> I feel bad now. Like, I know it's a joke, but I still feel bad. So I'm sorry. I feel horrible now. Go ahead, rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. <laughs> I need to get the woodcutter's axe. Oh! Maybe if I kill him, I can steal his glider. Oh. Now, isn't that an option? Okay. Uh, I would like to drop you. Wait, what am I doing? Drop this. And then pick up the woodcutter's axe. And let's see if I can actually... Actually... <laughs> cut the tree down and use it as like a bridge <laughs> something tells me you might be able to but I'm not sure the only thing I know about super bad is the intro song putting the pieces together is in it and it slaps putting the pieces together uh, uh, who sings that song I was going to say, what is the song, what are some of the lyrics, but I thought that would give people too much of an opportunity to do the, uh, the Fireflies song. <laughs> Ooh, it did work. But now I'm going to die because I'm not, I'm not balanced enough to do this. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Don't look down. Oh, no. Oh, we did it. Hey, that was pretty cool. I'm excited. Let's use a Boko, not a Boko club. Don't do that. Don't waste the Boko club on something like that. On like the, uh, an enemy so low level. Like I'll use this on a higher level enemy. I guess I got what else would I do? Oh, oh, and we can like, ooh. I wonder if there's a way I can do this. Like maybe if I light a bunch of wood and then throw it on them. But do I really want to waste my one flint on that wood? Not really, because I'm going to screw it up somehow. It's just so instrumental, trumpets, saxophones, drum, and bass. Putting the pieces together. Okay, I think when you said trumpets, that started making me think I do remember that. And, uh... I'm gonna go out on, go out on a limb and say that the entire movie has really good music. It's a great soundtrack. Oh, get out, brother. So good. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have, like, abilities and stuff. Okay. Throw. Detonate. We got a chest. Oh. That was exciting. 
five fire arrows. Not bad. I'll take it. Anything else? Ooh. Ooh, there might be something else. What's back here? <gasps> Is there a Korok? Mr. Korok, are you back here? There's something missing. What is it? What? Uh... Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, that's... that's kind of strange. Okay, well... Oh, can you actually eat stuff while you're climbing? So maybe the, the whole, like, raining while you're climbing thing isn't that big of a deal if you have enough stamina, but no, well, maybe it's still a big deal. I don't know. So if you have, like, enough stamina herbs to eat. Uh, okay, I'll cut down this tree just for you, Papa. Oh, beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't have cut it down, though, because what if I needed it so that I could get more apples from it on another day? That's what I'm concerned about now. Is there... There is no way to get over there except by climbing. And I don't think I can make it with that. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we can't make it. I wish we could, though, because walking on these things, not my favorite. Not my favorite thing in the world, I'll be honest. It's just, uh, just a little spooky. Oh, no. Please stop. Okay. Woo! Just like Animal Crossing. Exactly, yes. This game prepared us for Animal Crossing better than Pocket Camp did. Oh god! Dude, you scared the crap out of me. Boomers... ...are the scariest race. Are you gonna cut it down, or...? Okay, I'm not watching, I'm not watching. I'm gonna be very disappointed if they didn't program it in that he cuts it down. <laughs> Because, come on, really? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. There are two more trees I could have cut down. I, I could have made a giant bridge. What happened to me? Huh? <laughs> Whoops. Come on. Come on. Uh, there we go. We're tall enough. We did it. We need to find some water to maybe stab a fish. And see if that is the ingredient he needs. Um, running a little low on arrows. Ow! Don't honk your horn, bro. Honk, honk. <laughs> oh. Why didn't I expect that to be said? Okay. Uh, where's... Boom. Got him. Oh. It looks like the the honk didn't actually happen. Yay. So I am I am invisible to these creatures now. This is my land that I am surveying. Should I maybe stop using the arrows? Maybe. Yeah, I should. Um, okay, let's, okay, 
Okay. Uh, why am I using that? Don't use that. Boko. No, again, we don't want to waste it. Okay. Ow. That, that was not a parry. That was also not a parry, but I didn't get... I didn't get hurt from it, so that's good. Uh Oh! Oh! What am I doing? He was he was clearly open. Oh! Oh! I just dodged. Don't do it. Oh! Get out of here! Did it. So good at this game. Alright. We got what we wanted. We also got some- Ah! Steak. Or something. Let me see what it is. A seared steak. Okay. I just don't think that's as healthy as it could be. I feel like they would have it be a little healthier than that. Ooh. Nice. I like it. Oh! Uh, don't mind me, little bees. I'm just gonna get this chest and I'll mind my own business. <gasps> Bomb arrows? Oh, yes. No! Stop it! I said I'd mind my own business, you bitch! Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Drop. So worth it. I thought I was far enough away. <laughs> I thought I was far enough away that it wouldn't affect me. But I I was wrong. I can't believe that that happened. I didn't even hit the chest, did I? Let's go pick up the chest. What is in it? Or wait, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. What is in you? What's in your wallet? Victory Royale! <laughs> Oh gosh. It honestly not far off from what what happens at the end of Fortnite games usually for me. So, yeah. Not far off at all. Okay, let me throw and then wait. How many lives does Mario have? What game is it based on? How many? Oh! Oh, I see. Mm. Yes. That was swiftly executed, my friend. I've stolen their home. Starting to sound a little like Christopher Columbus. That's not good. You don't want to sound like him. But he explored the world in 1492. He sailed the ocean blue. No, he didn't. Shut up. I don't care what they taught you in... in kindergarten. It's not true. Chris Columbus is okay, though. He's a director. He directed the first two Harry Potter films and Home Alone, as well as I Love You, Beth Cooper, I believe. He did some comedy like that. No, uh... No, I don't think it was Beth Cooper. It was... It wasn't John Tucker Must Die. Maybe it was Beth Cooper. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I've, I've failed you all. I don't know what I'm doing. I will eat this. Alright, we have two and a half minutes. To make the greatest sprint that Mount Everest has ever seen. Link is pretty easy to spam and has a decent recovery. I'd imagine he'd win. Um, I think it depends on who's playing as them if we're talking Smash. 
Like, I'd play a terrible Mario, but Sonic Fox, he could probably play the best Mario of them all. So I don't know. Tough question. I... Am I going the right... Let's see. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I have to go around this mountain. But how do we do it? I don't know. Maybe we start eating our stuff. Start eating our stamina shrooms. Maybe we should try and cook them, though. Like, if it's like the the peppers, we should probably cook them and we'll be better off that way. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, that final push! That was epic. Okay. That's not the one we're going to, is it? No, that's that's the other one. Okay, so we're still doing okay on our journey to the one we were trying to get to. A lot of enemies. Ah, there he is. We all lose with the amount of noise he makes, though. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't speak actual words, but he can... Yeah! As much as anyone ever has. We don't talk about the player that's too meta, bro. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was, you're, you're right, you're totally right. Oh, a damn shrine. That's a fine-ass shrine. <laughs> okay, we're going in. We're diving deep. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Or in Zelda's words in this game, If you can dodge a bomb, too, you can dodge a Ganondorf. Was that whiny enough? In the name of God is highly, I offer this trial. Okay. Is this a new ability? Oh, that's right, stasis. Oh, I remember stasis. It's like dead space. But made by competent developers. <laughs> Just kidding. I, dead space is a well done game. It's not for me, though. I've had it in my Steam library for so long, and I've been thinking about playing it on stream. Just because, oh, it's fun to watch the streamer clip the mic and scream, and oh gosh, there's another... Another... whatever they're called in that stupid game. But it doesn't look fun for me. I'd be open to using cheats, of course. But I also say that, but then when I actually do try to do cheats with a game, I feel so bad. So, like I've talked about how... I kind of want to do a challenge. But I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Like, see how long you can stay on the rotating platform? <laughs> okay, sure, let's do it. No! You, you're you cheating! No! Oh, shoot. Well, that's even worse. Um, I don't know about Dead Space. I've always been so fascinated by the... The fact that your HUD is all in-game. I've loved that. Like, if there's one thing I love about Dead Space, it's that. The fact that your your health, your ammo counts, everything, everything you need is within the game world. It's not on a HUD. That's something that's still so rare nowadays in video games. Even in games like this, you have the HUD like right there. But I think it's trying to achieve something different, so it's not really... I'm not saying that this is bad because it's not doing that. I'm just saying that Dead Space really sticks out to me because of that system. Especially your health bar being on your back. Like, that's so awesome. I can't really explain why I love it so much, but it's... I think it was groundbreaking. I think it was fantastic. And I wish that I could play the game through and be able to 
see if the rest of the game is just as incredible, but I, I don't know if I could do that. Dead Space 1 is well crafted for the time, too many monster closets. Despite being third person, it's extremely immersive. Yeah, I, I actually just heard the term for uh, monster closets for the first time a couple weeks ago when I was watching a bunch of Doom videos, and then I, I saw a video on a gauntlet game the other night, and they were talking about monster closets in that game. And I was thinking, oh, okay. They explained what a monster closet was, and it made sense. I do not like the sound of a monster closet in a game like that, though. I feel like a game like that, for me, would be... You are actually gnawing on my testicle. I did not say that. Dude, what the... Oh, man, our inventory is so low right now. I know you can get a better one. Okay, we'll drop this. We can find torches, I think. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> um, with a game like that, with Doom, it makes sense. With Gauntlet, it sort of makes sense because that's always how it's been. Because they're not really going for an atmospheric, spooky horror game. With... with uh, limited ammo counts. I'm not sure if Dead Space is one of those games where it has limited ammo counts, but I feel like it is. And if it is, I don't like that. I think that monster closets don't really have a place in those kinds of horror games. Resident Evil's the same way. I just don't like that at all. Even in Resident Evil Revela uh, Revelations, they had... I don't know if it's, a, it's called a monster closet in this case, but... Why did you do that? Just... Oh my god. I... <laughs> I forgot the button for using the stasis, so now I'm sad. And I, my inventory was full anyways, that's great. Okay, cool. Well, uh, there we go. Where's the shields? Ten. Oh, 10 is good. Pretty shoddy. Okay, so we'll drop this and we'll get the Traveler's Shield. With um, Resident Evil Revelations, they had portions of it where you would... It was more action-y, like you would fight a bunch of hunters or a bunch of zombie dogs. And I thought it was... Way less engaging than the Jill, Jill Valentine stuff. The Jill Valentine stuff was the best in that game. You can almost always anticipate it. Are you saying like you can... You'll be able to stock up on ammo if you need to before them? Because uh, what I was saying about the monster closets in a horror game like that is that it doesn't... I don't know, it just doesn't... I feel like it's more effective to have less enemies. Oh, that's right. It's more effective to have less enemies in that kind of situation. Is what I was saying. There are mods to fix a lot of the technical issues with Dead Space 1. Oh, I didn't know there were technical issues. That's not good. Technical issues are bad. Am I missing something? I swear there was something else. No, okay, we're not gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna be happy that we are alive, even though we accidentally threw away what is possibly our best sword. Into the abyss. Never gonna get it back. Pretty sure it auto-saved, and that's why I didn't try to... Wait. There are two auto-saves, aren't there? Hold on. There are two auto-saves, aren't there? If you get into a situ... No. I don't know. We're not gonna do that. 
We're just going to cut our losses. Makes for a fun story to tell the grandkids. Like, grandkids, have I ever told you about the time that I tried to freeze a ball midair, but I accidentally threw my best sword into the abyss? They'll be like, no, granddaddy, no. Like, yep. It's scary. Oh, I've seen what I've seen what you're capable of when you use the stasis and hit a rock. <gasps> there's something inside. Oh gosh, there's something in there. Okay. Hi. Hello. I know I can use the iron sledgehammer. I don't want to do it though. Is that too good to use syndrome? Traveler's bow. Nice. Well, heck me, okay? Like, what do you want from me, dude? Boko bow. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should just... Okay, I should just keep dropping these then. Like, that's pretty easy. Pick up that traveler's bow. Good. I'm expecting a lot of the Boko stuff to not actually... Jugnell Boko, oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm expecting it not that they're all pretty shoddy in crafting. Uh-oh. What are you guys doing? You trying to hurt me? You can't hurt me, bro. I'm the hero of time. If you kill me, it's going to cause a paradox in the series. So don't even think about it. Come on over. Oh wow, their pathfinding is actually really good and it's freaking me out. Ah! No! Stop! Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna climb up here. They won't be able to hurt me. <laughs> they can't even see me. Oh, they saw me. Oh wow, oh jeez. I'm so scared. I'm freaking out. I'm really... Ow! They can... Gosh dang it, they can throw stuff. I'm stupid. Issues stem with newer hardware. Uh, it's programmed to old crummy mice. Odd controls as well. All is fixed in a self-installing mod. Oh. So, would I have issues with that if I use a controller? Or do they even let you use a controller? Because if you can't use a controller, I'm definitely out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good with that, because I'm a peasant. Hello, Jagno. <laughs> I don't, I doubt that's your, uh, I, I think it's probably a coincidence, right, that that name is the same. Because I know your yours is supposed to be, like, Jungle Book. But, I don't know, maybe. Maybe there was a new layer to it that I never knew about. I think that would be really interesting. Excuse me? Um... Hmm... I... Don't... Like... This... Oh, I have... Wait, how do you... How do I... Oh, there we go. Ow! Hey! Jerk! Go! Go, 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 go! Okay, well, just so I don't accidentally blow myself up again... <gasps> there you go! Keep rolling towards him! Okay. Come on. Oh! He's dead! He's not dead! He's dead! He's actually dead this time. I don't want to use your arm. Okay, that's weird. I don't like it. I'm gonna throw this over there. <laughs> that was efficient. Okay, what's this? Horn. Horn. Another bow. Yeah. I think we're good with that. 
No issues with controller? Oh, okay, then I'm I'm good, dude. The best I've ever been, honestly. <gasps> Five arrows, yes. I want to get 600 arrows eventually. It'll give a woman 600 Tuesdays. She can't give you three Saturday nights. <laughs> I wish EA would have let Visceral have more free reign with Dead Space. Might still be it might not still be here today, but it would have concluded gracefully, I feel. Yeah. I haven't played them I I've okay, I've stepped into the world of Dead Space 1, I've stepped into the world of Dead Space 2 and 3, but the amount of time I played them is very little. Like not even consequential enough to say that I played them, period. But, okay, I'm guessing that, no, I should just go to, ah, oh, man, I don't want to already eat these. Um, I'm going to wait until I get two hearts off before I start eating them. And then let's get our weapon, let's try out the... Just Boko Club. Because this guy is kind of difficult, I think. Whoops. Ah, son of a... Okay, I'm just going to smack him. I'm sorry. I have no patience. Okay. Nice. We got him. And now I will eat. I was trying to be a little more judicious about my spicy, sautéed peppers. What the fuck? Spicy sautéed peppers. I'm a real big baby when it comes to horror slash thriller games. DS1 is worth it. <laughs> well, I'll I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if we'll play it on stream, like there's a good chance we won't, but hey, if we do, you have something to look forward to. Like I can't lie, I can't say, oh yeah, we're definitely going to play it. It's just, uh, I don't think I'd, no. I don't think I can do it. And sorry, to finish my thought, um, the bats are going to die. Um, so I've heard that Dead Space 2 and 3 are nowhere near as good as Dead Space 1, especially 3. Uh, I think Dead Space 2 is held in okay favor, but Dead Space 3 especially for Dead Space fans, not great. And I think, I think it's a similar story with the Lost Planet games as well, which I was obsessed with for literally two hours that because I was gonna I bought all of them on the 360 and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna play these on stream and I never did it was fun it's a fun time uh oh that wasn't good ow oh my gosh the parry Boom. It's like Dark Souls, but it looks good. Dark Souls has such an ugly art style. I didn't say that. That was a joke. That was a bad joke because I actually think Dark Souls games have the most one of the most striking art styles. Or art design, I should say, not styles, but design. Where are you going? Where's he going? You scared? I wouldn't be too scared. You have, you know, one pixel of health left, and I have a club that can hit you for 12 damage. It's not too bad, bro. Ow. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic, but what can you do? 
I know we can blow the the ship around with our leaf. I know I can do that. I don't know why, but I, I think I remember doing that. If I can't make it to streams, I'd 100% check in on the VODs. DS2 was ridiculed until everyone saw how bad DS3 was. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sorry to hear that, though. <laughs> Don't talk smack about my other favorite DS acronym series. I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. Hey, I love Dead Souls. Dark Souls. What the? I love Dark Souls. I just don't play them much. I played them a ton. Sorry, I played Dark Souls 1 and 2 on the Xbox One. I, okay. I played the original Dark Souls on 360 with Xbox One backwards compatibility, I got to the Lord Vessel and then I never beat it. I never got any of the the souls for it, I don't think. I beat Ornstein and Smo. I needed to beat Seath the Scaleless and I couldn't do it because there was this glitch happening where the, the oyster enemies were like going through the fog wall while I was fighting him. Not to say I would do better without them, but it really didn't help much. And then Dark Souls 2, I don't remember where I left off on that. I think it was the Iron Keep, if that makes sense. I think it was like a castle with a bunch of lava. And there was like, there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle at the top of one of the staircases. It was a great game. I'm not sure why I stopped playing them, but yeah. I'll chat your ear off about that one too. Dark Space. <laughs> yeah. The hotly anticipated sequel to Dead Souls. Dark Space. Wait, how do I get over there? Um... Actually, maybe we sh... Wait. That is where the other shrine is. Hmm... Tricky, tricky. Okay. We have enough for like 12 minutes. And that's it. Uh, I thought that this was a bridge. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Dark Souls 2 is pretty forgettable without mods? Or Dead Space 2? I... Dark Souls 2 I actually really liked. I think I liked it more than the first one. Which doesn't make sense, I know, because I put way more, way more time into the first one. I think I put... Well, no. I think the first one I put like 40 hours into. The second one I put like 30, maybe? Dark Souls 2, okay. Float a log. I wasn't sure how the log would get over there, but I think you're right. Hmm. Let me whack you. Uh, oosh! Yeah, I forgot that water like carries things. So yeah, we could do that. It wants me to cut down two trees, I think, but... Nah. I'm gonna cut down one. Because I'm a freaking... Oh wait, you can swim? Oh my god, you can't. I mean, you can, but you really shouldn't. Oh no. Wait, does that mean I lost my, my cold resistance? Please tell me I didn't just waste that. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad. Oh wow, you don't. That's amazing. Okay. Hmm. Let's 
I guess cut down all three of these trees, actually. That's probably a good idea. Especially if it's giving us an axe. And then... One more. Uh... What the heck? Like... What do you want me to do? I mean, like, yeah, it wants me to jump, but like... Oh, 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 no, no, no! In the final area of Shining Force 3, I have to manage three teams of 12 fighters. I've been leveling, promoting, forging, and equipping all day, and haven't even started on the final four fights. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, well, no, I'm not sorry. That's good. It sounds like you're well prepared. Do you know if it's going to pay off? Come on. Like... Really? There we go. Okay. Do with that. And apparently we need to give him a little help. Ow! Are you kidding me? God damn it! <laughs> This game. It's. Uh. I terraformed my entire island in Anch. Wait. You mean Akin? And it's going to take over a week to get it to the way I want? Yeah, I don't like how they did the terraforming thing. I don't. Like, I get it. They want. Animal Crossing is a game about wasting your time, and they want you to waste as much time as possible. It's like, they want the most mundane tasks to take the most time. But I feel like with something like terraforming, it they really should put a different system in than what it has. I haven't actually unlocked terraforming, but I've seen enough videos to know that I will hate it. Which is why I'm thankful that I have no interest in changing my island in any way even though I think you might need to do that if you want to wait I think it matters where you cut it like I cut it there but if I cut it over here it would have gone this way oh dude the meta game is so strong Super strong bronzes. <laughs> okay, we did it. Think it's gonna pay off and it better. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know what I'd do if that wasn't enough to pay off for me. Okay, we'll equip that real quick. And whack! When the north wind meets the sea. I don't know the Frozen 2 songs by heart, so someone will have to finish that one for me, but, uh... Wait, what am I doing? Can I blow you this way? Oh, I can blow you that way! I can blow you everywhere! Oh! Gorgeous! I love... how versatile the blowing is! This is beautiful! I love it! Spent a lot of time today? Well, yeah, it sounds like it. Like, I don't really know the hour amount it would take, but... It sounds like something that would take... Like, six hours... Of, like, straight concentrated play. If not more. Oh! This is probably where I can get off, right? Have I blown enough that I can get off? I think so. Let's check. Um... Yeah, I mean, there is a pathway over there. A series of unfortunate events. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. What are you? Oh, no. Hey, get away from me. You're cute, but no. Oh, they blow up in freezy stuff. Snow. Ice. Take your pick. White choo-choo jelly. Ooh. Can I make a train out of it? <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. I bet in the 30 years that Zelda's been around that no one's ever made that stupid joke. Haha, -ha, so good. I loved terraforming? Oh, okay. I just... It sounds like a lot of time, though, for... I don't know. Maybe it's something that I'd enjoy if I did it myself, but... As it stands right now, it doesn't sound like that's what I would do. <gasps> did we make it just in time? No, we didn't. We didn't. We did. We didn't. Okay. So eight hours. All right, that's... But one hour without with being idle? <clears throat> But were you in American Idol? That's the important question. Oh. Oh! Hey, it's him! It's the man! The man, the myth, the legend, the shrine. I should eat something. I'm not gonna eat my freaking poppers. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not eating those peppers. I'm eating my freaking skewer right now. Let me enjoy my animal game while I work 70 hours a week because the government wants me to. <laughs> I wasn't saying you shouldn't enjoy it, I just... The... The terraforming mechanics just seem a little... Really freaking slow and monotonous and boring, I don't know. But then that's how Animal Crossing looks to a lot of people. So again, maybe I need to unlock it and see for myself. Maybe that's when I'll see it really start to... Take shape. <laughs> I feel really bad for skipping that first cinematic where the the doors open to the thing. <sighs> Wait, speaking of Animal Crossing, have just to make sure, have you gotten all the Bunny Day stuff? Like, did you craft all the recipes that you could get before Bunny Day, craft the recipe he gives you for Bunny Day. Did you do all that stuff? Because there's one thing he gives you that I don't think I knew about. You have to give him, like, one of every egg. My job is monotonous and boring for the time being, man. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I can I can see why Animal Crossing would be a good respite from that. I couldn't care less about Bunny Day. Oh, okay. Well, some people are completionists. They want everything. So I wasn't sure if that was you. I hated bunny day okay but now i like it um because it's the last day that it's gonna happen oh heck got it no get out of here dad i <sighs> like the, the amount of eggs you got for Bunny Day was ridiculous. Like, yes, we know this, but I don't know. I think now I'm kind of okay with it. And I kind of like Zipper T-Bunny. I feel bad for being such a jerk to him. Sort of. Not really. But a little bit. Um. Hmm. Oh. Uh... Ah! <gasps> Wait, what if you freeze it and it opens the gate? Oh! Bro! Uh-oh. 
Oh, he wants some of this, doesn't he? Don't worry. Whoops. No, I don't want the two-handed weapon. Give me a single hand. Something your mom has no issue giving me every night. No! Okay. We got it. We don't got it. We got this, though. There we go. Dude. It's actually amazing. The ancient screw. Hmm. If it isn't kitchen furniture, I don't want it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, well... The, the stuff that he gives you, well, the stuff that I got, at least, was, uh, pretty cool. I don't, I, I don't want to spoil it in case someone else is here that doesn't want to know. Not that anyone else is heeding, or adhering to no spoilers. Like, I was gonna post a picture on Twitter, like, hey, look what I got for Bunny Day, but then I was thinking, oh, wait, no, it's probably something that's... That's a surprise to people. I don't want to spoil it. But then I look at the trending topics and it's like, oh yeah, look at what I got. It's like everyone's posting about it. And I don't know. I just don't like that. I want people to be more cognizant that not everybody knows what's in the game. Not everybody is playing the game to want to know everything immediately. Like some people like me just want to explore. They want to have fun. They want to see what they can get. Like, what can I get with this item and stuff? It's... So... I don't want to spoil it. But it's easy to find. <laughs> There's actually a surprise. There are three items you can get today. There's one for crafting everything. There's one... That he gives you for... That... And then there's another thing you can get when you go back to him regarding that. And then there's another one for giving him one of each type of egg. And you can actually trade eggs with him, which is pretty cool. You can... Like if you have, I don't know, 600 water eggs, but you only have 20 sky eggs, you can go to him and for three water eggs, he'll give you one sky egg. So that's, that's nice, I guess. What is it? Spy Are you serious? Are you still not going to give me the fucking glider? Oh my god. I actually hate you. What is... What is his problem, dude? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. I'll freaking fast travel. How's that sound? Bro. Para boomer. <laughs> yeah, not yet. He's not letting me do it, man. Ah, sucks. I just want my glider, dude. I want to see what the world is like outside of this little garden. Although I'm going to be honest. I'm having enough fun inside of this garden. I don't want to go out because, like, what if I start to hate the game then? What if that's the point where I'm like, yeah, game sucks. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, very interesting. It doesn't do anything, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Speaking of people not adhering to the rules... Oh my gosh, I was in Safeway today. And first of all... Again, didn't have a mask. I felt like a jerk. I know. Don't worry. I gave myself quite a bit of hell for it, but I went inside because I guess I, I said, well, other there are a few other people that aren't wearing masks, so... Because I don't have any masks, and I don't have anything to make masks. Like, and I have no craftiness to myself, so... I decided I'll just go. So, anyways... I went to the pharmacy and asked for masks, and she actually said, yeah, I've made a few. She gave me a bag, and she's like, pick one. And I'm like, okay, and so I got one, and it, it was such a weird feeling. It's like, 
I went in the store and I was feeling so ashamed for the whole trip, but then after I got that mask, I suddenly felt this, like, this relief get pulled off of my shoulders. Or this, sorry, relief put on my shoulders, but the guilt off of the shoulders. It was so weird. Like, I've never felt that much guilt fall away so quickly. But, okay, so that was the first part about not adhering. I wasn't adhering to the mask thing. But in the store, they have these stickers on the ground saying social distancing stuff. Like, stand here if you're waiting in line, six feet apart, blah, blah. Great, you know? I actually love that. I, I think that that's very important. I hope that they continue to do that. Oh my gosh. I hope that they continue to do that, even after this quarantine's over. Like, I love that. And people were sort of adhering to it. But back when they started doing that, they put the social distancing stickers down. I was thinking, well, what about when you're in an aisle and you're trapped? Like, you have to go around somebody, right? Like, how do you, how do you manage that? How do you social distance that? And then... Uh, today I saw that they actually have stickers on the outside of every aisle that say one way and they have an arrow. It's like you want to go get the yogurt, you have to go down this way and then it's like a, it's a serpentine pattern. It's really cool. I think that's an excellent idea because that, that answers that question, that problem I had where you don't have to worry about going around somebody. You just go down the aisle in the same like the same direction, there's no worry. Uh, well, that's how it would be if anyone followed the rule. Like, I'll admit, I'll admit, the first time I went down an aisle, I didn't see the sticker. And I went down the wrong way, but then I corrected it. See? That's the thing about, about being attentive. You, you see it, and you correct it. <laughs> but then, like, nobody else was following it. I was getting so pissed. Hopefully, word gets around eventually. And I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt here. I think that because the stickers that say one way were the same color, same text size, same everything as the ones that say social distance, that maybe people just automatically dismiss them. They're like, oh, I've already seen this so many times. Like, there are 30 different social distancing stickers all around the store. There are significantly less for the aisles. So it makes sense. Like, okay. But I still think that people need to be a little more attentive. <gasps> Is that a spider? No, it's a campfire. What can you make with a campfire? <gasps> a Korok, perhaps? But how do I make a fire? I don't have a torch anymore, do I? Or do I? Let's see. I don't. I do. <laughs> I do have a torch. But I don't have any flint. I do have flint. What I mean is I don't have enough flint that I'd be comfortable using it. So that bothered me a lot. It's like... Some people are following the rules. Most of, most of the people aren't following some of them. But the social distancing one, yes, that's good. And you're told not to bring your entire family. And there were two women in there that brought their, like, three kids each. Like, different families. There's one woman with three kids, one woman with three kids. I was getting so mad, but then when I got in the car, I realized, wait a second. There's a chance that they're single mothers. There's a chance that, like, they couldn't find a babysitter because of the quarantine. Like, I should probably not be going after them for that. It was still frustrating, though, because the kids were, like, touching everything and, like, getting way too close to everything and everyone else. I, I didn't like that, but, again, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's a situation that where they couldn't get to the store without their kids. Maybe. I don't know. At that point, leave them in the car. 
That's what I would say. Leave them in the car, but make sure that they can't touch the door locks, because I remember one time I, I was out with my family, and I needed to sleep. It was like dinner time, and I was really young, and I needed to sleep, so they let me go to the car. They gave me their keys, and I went into the car, and I fell asleep. It was great. It was a great sleep. But then I woke up, and I heard tapping on the glass, and then <laughs> they were like, wake up, Trog, wake up. And I started going back to sleep, and he's like, no, no, do not go to sleep again. Wake up, please. <laughs> And uh, I guess I was sleeping in the car. They were there for an hour and a half trying to get me to open the door for them. It was great. So that's why you don't give kids your car keys. Well, kids that haven't played Grand Theft Auto, at least. If they played Grand Theft Auto, I think your your risks are going to be a little higher than just, oh, he's he's sleeping in the car. Look at him. Man. He's cute. Look at that thing. Look at that little gremlin getting some shut eye. Oh, what am I doing? That's right, trying to find a way to light this fire. Seems like a very peculiar face for a fire. Place for a fire. But I don't want to waste flint on it if it if it's not a Korok, I guess. Um Dude, these are like the biggest weeds. I want to pull them, but I can't. Oh, dude, what if this is an Animal Crossing Island? This whole map is an Animal Crossing Island? This is the size of the weeds? <gasps> Wait, it said something. Oh, it's climbed down, okay. That'd be so weird. If Link was as big as one of the leaves on the weeds in Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's what I'm going to think of every time I see a weed now. I'm going to be like, oh, I wonder if Link was here. I guess that would be consistent with Minish Cap, if he's wearing that cap. It'd be consistent, I guess. I don't think I'd twat the stream out. Might have to do that. I've been trying to tweet the stream out a little more. It does seem like, for the most part, it's helping. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I do not like that. The doom, <laughs> the doom level of like 1996 doom level of graphical prowess with that. It's like a 2D object, but they swing it around as you swing around. So it looks, it has the perception of 3D. That looks so out of place. Like, everything else in this game is gorgeous and beautifully rendered, but that is the outlier for sure. Oof, I don't like that. It's not too far out of the canon. In New Leaf, if you scan a Wolf Link amiibo, you get a new villager. <gasps> really? That's interesting. That's really interesting. <laughs> Hey, you're not playing Fortnite. Stacks! I'm not playing Fortnite. I was possibly going to, but then I thought, you know, I played... I had this... I had so much fun with Breath of the Wild last night that I decided that I wanted to play it tonight. So, yeah, we're playing this tonight. But hey, if you... If you want to watch Fortnite sometime, let me know. Again, you're the only person in here that shows any interest in it whatsoever, so... Uh... Or, not interest in it, but like, it seems like you actually want me to play it. That is a very rare... Uh... Thought process to be having on my stream lately. Yeah. But again, you know, people seem a little more accepting of Fortnite as opposed to when I was streaming it back in Chapter 2 Season 1. Like, my stream has never done as poorly as it did back then. Like, that was... 
That was even worse than when I first started streaming. Like, usually when you first start streaming, that's, like, as bad as it'll be. I think, at least. And then it just goes... It gets better from there. Sometimes you'll have low points, sometimes high points. But I think that was the most consistent period of horrible activity that I've ever had. It was rough. Maybe less people are playing it on Twitch, so more people are like... The the spread is less so. I don't know. It's, it was weird. That's why I stopped playing it for a while, but now it seems like people actually enjoy it for the most part, and I'm loving it again. There's a time, there's a period where I wasn't playing it as much for like two weeks, but now I'm back at it. Love it. Playing it so much. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... I think it's a good compromise. The stream and I have... have compromised. I don't want you to play it, but I don't mind it. I'm here for the commentary mostly. Hey! Now that... is a thought that is quite common. If you don't mind me saying. And that's what I like. I actually prefer that kind of thought. It's like... Yeah. I love that. I love... That. Because I... Thank you. By the way. <laughs> oh! Oh, this area. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, okay. Well... Force my hand, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. It's really too bad. Oh, <gasps> that didn't kill him. Excuse me? Are you serious? Really? Oh! The wind blew it back at me. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> that sucked so much. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Thank you for the comment on the commentary. No! Stop it. Okay. Did we do it? You know, just to be safe, we should probably just eat something. Like, why wouldn't we eat something? That was scary, though. I always say that if people watch me, they should watch me for the commentary, not for the gameplay, because usually the gameplay isn't the best. I've been working on it. If you can believe it, this is actually way better than, like, my during my streaming career, I've been playing better in pretty much every game as opposed to before I was streaming. And yeah, that's that's a scary thought, I know. <laughs> That is the scariest thought, honestly. What is... Okay, there's an arrow. I mean, bow. Club. Hmm. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. If I had a pickaxe, I could probably... I don't... I don't know what this would break down into on Fortnite. I think maybe... Maybe it's a new material. Maybe it would be bone. Although, excuse me. These are enormous skulls. What the heck are they? I just realized that. These are really big skulls. Did they maybe do that thing, the shrunken head process, but the opposite? Where it's like the enlarged head? I mean, now it sounds like we're in a Cialis commercial, so I should probably stop, but that's what I thought of. I read up on... Uh, what was that? What was that? Oh, hi. What are you doing? It's, it's, not, even, it's not even dark yet. What are you doing? Oh, no, I've been using my torch? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. I kind of didn't mean to use that. Uh, this will be good for one more hit, probably. Ooh, arrows. Yay! Uh... What was I saying? Sorry. I was... 
was watching some of my old YouTube videos just to see how I've improved, how I can improve better. And one of my videos, it was the Evil Within 2 video, and I kept glossing over it because it's only like three and a half minutes long, and I thought, oh, it's probably just a, a single highlight, like a little clip. I forgot now, though. I actually downloaded the stream, and I highlighted a bunch of portions of it, and I put it in the clip. So... It was like, I think a 30 minute portion of the stream condensed into three and a half minutes. And I gotta say, it was pretty good. I laughed. Some of it, I laughed. And then I also watched another video. That was my Ocarina of Time video that I did back in 2011 on my channel, my YouTube channel. And I didn't know that I, I actually edited videos back then. Cause yeah, I edited it. I did the same thing basically. I, I condensed a bunch of stuff into a single video. Um, but it was a terrible video. It was bad. I can't really explain what it was, but it was just really bad. And then I also watched, there's a video called The Deeper Meaning of Donkey Kong. I thought it would be interesting to see if my tangents have changed at all. Have they gotten better? Have they gotten worse? No, it's about the same, which is a little frustrating to me because it's been like, I think that video was uploaded 2012, maybe? And I don't know, I like to see a little more progress in that period of time. Or maybe the tangents are just good. There's not really a way to get better. They can only get worse from here. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pretend that that's actually the reason. Oh! We can probably climb that, can't we? Oh boy. Can we switch walls? No, let's not try to switch walls. Let's just climb up here... vertically... and then climb horizontally when we get to the top. I think that gives us obviously a better chance. And we were good. We were literally very good. Oh, I know what this is. That's a bomb. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure they're fine. Okay, Magnesis. 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 The X-Man. Beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> so cute uh this is all to say that i don't remember what i was talking about before i went on that tangent even so can i just jump oh! <sighs> i don't feel comfortable saying that we could jump i think we just got lucky oh my gosh that was scary oh yeah we're supposed to be going to where they intersect so, intersect. We go down. Down. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the Temple of Time is where we need to go. I mean, like, there's no... Or, no, maybe it's the Great Plateau. The Tower of the Great Plateau. I don't know. I think it's one of those two places, though. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, like, put a Sharpie on my screen and actually find the exact location where they intersect. I'm going to guess that it's in one of those two key locations, though. In fact... Well, uh... Wait. Am I not able to... Oh... Uh... <laughs> okay, we're going to the Temple of Time. I'm sorry, I thought that the tower was like right here. We'll go to the Temple of Time. I think that's a safe assumption. If it's not in the Temple of Time... I don't know what I'll do. 
gonna be sad. The game has been running better, by the way. Like, there have been a few times where it's run pretty slowly. But... I do think the Wii U version was... The Wii U version did run worse than this. But I'm wondering if there have been some updates to it. Like, maybe this one's been updated to be better? To be improved? Mm, can I push this? I can! Not. Come on. There you go. Watch out below! Oh, beautiful. I also wonder... The physics. It seems like... I don't know how to explain it, but like in a game... In another game, if you chop down a tree, no matter where you chop it... It'll just go the same place if it's meant to go to a certain area. Like on that bridge area, it would be like, okay, I'll chop it here and then it'll fall there. Or I can chop it here and it'll fall there. But in this game, you do actually have to be careful about where you cut the trees if you need them to fall a certain place. And then the physics with the ball running down, I think that there is some thought put into that stuff. I'm very impress impressed with it. I'm not too deep with knowledge regarding physics and games, but uh, I ha I feel like they're doing something special there. So, I will probably want to do this when we get our glider. Probably have to jump down that and go there. Maybe. Or, we can try and chop a tree down. <laughs> I don't think so, though. I don't think it'll work. I would still say the Switch is better overall, but the Wii U version has improved by a few FPS. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I haven't played the Wii U version since... Uh... <laughs> uh... Hey, Wii U? When was the last time I played you? Or, sorry, played the Breath of the Wild game on you? I don't know. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Hello. Alright, so I'm at the Temple of Time and there's nothing here. So now I'm lost. I'm not at the Temple of Time. I was at the Temple of Time's belly. His belly button. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Oh, look, it's glowing. Nice. I think this is where we need to go. Okay. Pray. It's good to hear that the Wii U version has improved. Four spirit orbs, yes. Oh, wait, this isn't the the this isn't the paraglider. <laughs> um heart container, please. Yes. I know that in a single playthrough you can't get all the heart containers and all the stamina all the stamina wheels. But I feel like health is something I need more right now. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have issues with balancing those, I think. Oh. Oh, okay, so that is what we were supposed to do. Okay, cool. Hey, game design. Blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Get up here, quickly. Okay. Um. 
How do I get up there? <laughs> I mean, I climb, yeah, but do I have enough stamina for that? I feel like I don't. Hmm. What are you? Hey! It's a Korok! Oh, it is not a Korok. That was the tail of a squirrel. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, c I guess I can try to do it. I, I don't think so, but we'll try. You know... What's the harm in failing? What, you fall to your death? <sighs> Hardly a risk. Okay. You know what? The math whiz in me is saying... All things constant... I think we'll be able to make it. Yeah, we actually had plenty. What the heck? I swear the stamina went down more quickly on other things. Come on. I swear the game's lying to me. Hello, Mr. Grandpa Man. <laughs> Hi. That was way too much effort for a glider, dude. <gasps> he talks? Whoa. So did you turn into like a boat in Wind Waker? Is that who you are? I remember when I first played it, I was surprised by that quite a bit. Like, like who could see that? Who could see that coming? Nobody. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Oh no. To know the Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see. Okay, well while you guys watch this, I'll be right back. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there is also a prophecy. The signs of the resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies strong. We decided to heed the threat and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giantish kings piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardian, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that sealed the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit the sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duties of piloting the divine beasts. 
With the princesses there, Commander, we dubbed the Pilot Champion, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagination. Below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the guardians and the divine beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives in the terrible struggle. Gross, I hated history class. <laughs> you know, I did too. I used to hate history, but now I'm, I like it a lot now. As long as it's not American history, I, I much prefer like the European. Basically, everything that's not American history, I love to read about. Not the atrocities that occurred, of course, but the it's interesting to learn. The information is fascinating sometimes, especially like human civilization, the the Fertile Crest or the Fertile Crescent. Uh, that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. But I understand it's not the most fascinating thing sometimes. In this game, it's as boring as it gets, though. I mean, that's no doubt about it. <laughs> but I think it's because I know, like, I don't know. I know the story. So it's not that interesting. So it's really unfair to say it's boring. Like, maybe when I first played this, I was actually fascinated by it. And it, I guess the most fascinating thing is it does have... It does feel like it has more story than other Zelda games. That was fascinating to me. But sometimes I just want to explore. Sometimes I want to throw a bomb in the wind and blow it up, and it actually blows up in my face, literally. You know? Why Why would it be anything but literally? Why would I say that? Yeah, a bomb blew up in my face, figuratively. Who the fuck says that? When would you say that? Never. Okay, I feel like an idiot. I actually did not know he was her dad. <laughs> I don't know who she is in this game. Is she... Is she Princess Zelda? You know, it's like... I don't know. I'm sorry. Shoot. Ah. Okay. There we go. See. I. Oh my gosh, dude. This is too much information. Are you kidding me? I didn't even get that one. Oh my lord. Okay. I try to make judicious use of the screenshot and video feature on these things. Because... I don't know, it's very useful. For people with terrible memories. The paraglider, thank god. We have it. Yay! Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. Good. And I think that's it. Told you everything I can. Oh, I doubt that. I think you're holding a lot of secrets, Mr. Ghost Man? What the heck? No. What happened to him? He died. Okay, I guess we have to seek out Impa. Oh, beautiful. 
14 attack? Dude. I mean, yeah, of course I'll do that. Get out of here. There's no wrapping on the menu? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, that's fine, though. It's one of those things where if you hold it down long enough, it goes pretty quickly. Okay. Let's get rid of our Boko Bow, one of them at least. We have about a hundred. We can spare one. Open that up. Was he even there to begin with? Oh my gosh. Stax is asking the real philosophical questions. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we go. We're breaching the walls. Oh my gosh. It's a whole new world down here. Wow. Wow, this place is beautiful. You don't get this kind of beauty where we were at. Wow. Just gorgeous. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. My, produ my producer's telling me that we are still actually in the Great Plateau. We did not break past it. Thank you. Thank you, Ishmael. Oh. What about this one, Ishmael? Is this it? Is this good? No? What? Well, then what the heck? Where do where do I go? Where, where does he want me to go? Go north to where Impa is and then take a six degree left turn before making an immediate right turn at the peak of a widow's hairstyle and then bounce three times spin around bop your nose while uttering the phrase zelda and hopefully the sun will shine down at you at exactly 16.65 degrees and then use that energy you absorb from the sun since you are a flower to go blah blah that's basically what that his directions were like okay it's like oh my gosh there's so many instructions i'm saving a princess not making Furniture for Ikea. Good lord. Here we go. It's Amaterasu. Oh, no, it's not. Uh-oh. Dude, I'm actually terrified to go down here. Like... Oh, what if I hate it? Uh Mmm, what if I hate it? Oh... I don't know. Mmm... I'm not doing this for, like, suspense or anything. Like, I'm seriously anxious about leaving. Like, I'm having such a good time up here. Like, should I even leave? Before we leave. No! <clears throat> I was going to whistle at the very top. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well? Hey. If I didn't accidentally <laughs> fall off, I would have never done it anyways. So, hey, we did it. Yay. We're he we're here. I mean, it's it's new. It's a new area. It's it's a whole new world. Unbelievable sights. Indescribable feeling. Soaring, tumbling, free wheeling. Through an endless diamond sky, a whole new world. What the heck is going on over here? Some infighting? Oh! Interesting. Wait! No, those are people. Wait! Whoa, those are people! Hold on. Hey! Don't attack those people! 
I saved you. Give me something. I don't remember asking for your help, but now they'll call me the rude one if I don't thank you somehow. Okay. Mighty fried bananas? Dude, where'd you get that from? Donkey Kong? I'll get him next time for sure. I'm sorry? Uh, hey you, can I talk to you? Think highly that Mina's safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Yeah, it's also not safe to be related to or in a relationship with someone so crass and mean. Go find yourself someone nice. Wow, that was, that was bizarre. I actually feel like really offended. I thought I was doing the good deed of saving them, but no. Nope. I did the bad deed of taking away the excitement they had of beating it themselves. Oh wait, does this remind you of anything called backseating? Oh yes. It does. Thank you. Thank you, myself. Emblazement shield? I think... Is that like, uh... It doesn't get hurt by fire? Um... Oh... Shoot. Weak monsters or animals. Drop. Okay, let's get this one out. I forget how the treasure chests work if you can't actually get the item inside of them. Like, does it still count as you open the chest? Because I feel like there was a there was a Zelda game where that didn't happen and it was really frustrating. Maybe it was Twilight Princess. I don't know. Okay. Where? It's a deer! Mr. Deer! Hello! Oh, happy Easter, Mr. Deer. Hello. What a cute little guy. Oh, look at all these apples. Are they baked? They are acorns, not apples. Interesting how that works out. I believe this is called birch tree. And it seems like they actually used pictures of birch trees for the texture, which is cool. A little strange to see something so realistic in a game with this art style, but I guess that's the same for everything, honestly. It looks like... I don't know. Kill the deer. How dare you? I will not have that kind of talk in here. That deer is sacred and I will not snuff its existence out. Snuff the soul... Snuff its soul out of existence. I will not do such a thing. How dare you. I wasn't even tempted to. Like, what the heck? What kind of horrible person do you have to be to want me to kill a deer, dude? Ugh. That's why I don't play Far Cry, by the way. One of the reasons is the... Excuse me? You... What the... Uh, hello? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is not my favorite. <laughs> no. Oh, yes! Three! Okay, three arrows, not bad. Uh, Far Cry games, you I don't think you have to kill animals, but it's highly incentivized to kill them. And same with Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. I think even less so incentivized, but it's still a good idea to do it. So that's one reason I don't play those games. I don't even want to fight you guys, are you kidding me? I'm not going to waste my ammo on you. Oh, hey, look. He can throw rocks, isn't that interesting? Ooh, piece of candy. The bush. The 
bush keeps me safe in Fortnite, I think it'll it'll keep me safe here. To see if it lets you? Oh yeah, it, I think it does. Because there is the food making mechanic, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to try it, <laughs> but I think you can probably. Holy crap, the bush actually worked. That's amazing. Okay. What is that? Is that like a giant snail running around? What is that? Oh, it's like they're giant bunnies? They are elk. Hmm. In a way, aren't bunnies just miniature elk and vice versa? Come on. You gotta give me that. Ooh. This is kind of spooky, but I'm gonna try to do some of this. We're gonna... We're gonna make some fun things happen. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. Yeah, you can be... We can be a little less careful about where it goes! Oh my god! We could be a little less careful. But, you know, seeing how horribly that almost went just now, I think we should continue being careful. Just in case. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, you can do the thing! Brother! I just remembered that I forgot to do that, that obvious Korok test back at the... That bunch of lily pads that we had. I forgot to do it. Shoot. Okay. After we do this, we'll go back and do it. No! Stop! Okay. Woo! Hike! Hey, so, you know how you can swim in this game? Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. Colomo Garrison Ruins. Interesting. Is there like a story behind them or something? Kill the elk? No! How dare you! I would never kill one of God's creatures! Named an elk. No. I would never do such a thing. Gotta be something fun over here. Oh, it's a fox. Hello, Mr. Fox. Kitsune. What's this? A wooden bow? Wait, how... Ah, shoot. Do I have any boko bows left? I do have a boko bow. Okay, drop that. Pick that up. Go to the inventory, check it out. It's excellent for hunting small animals. There you go. Yep. Okay, well, now I know I need to... Oh, gosh. Ugh, the controller's been above the table this whole time. I'm sorry. Hope you haven't been able to hear it too much or hear my hands shuffling around. Um, I don't think I need the that bow, then. Is it a fishing rod? Oh! <gasps> It's a claymore. I don't think I care about that. Not. Oh, we'll. Okay, we'll do that. Move that. Take the sword and the stone. What? I thought I just. Oh, I didn't drop it. I thought I did, though. That's the thing. Okay, whatever. We have the rusty claymore. This is very exciting for everyone. There's a Korok there. There's gotta be a Korok. Alright, let's see what it's like to swim. Instead of... <laughs> tediously setting an ice spire everywhere we want to go. Wow, look at that. Jeez. This is much easier. And it's taking a lot less time, I gotta be honest. Just for fun, we should see how long it's... Ah! 
No! Why, uh... Why do you hate me, game? You didn't do much to prove me wrong there, but... Alright. I was trying to do the song. I don't like it. It's like a bunch of Gorons decided, hey, let's make a song while we watch the Star Wars cantina scene. Xenoblade. What the? What the fu? What? What? What is that talking about? Hold on. What the heck is it talking about? Look to the night sky at these locations and find the red shooting stars. What the heck? Xenoblade Chronicles 2 collaboration? <laughs> That's so interesting. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. The southern sky from the peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountain. Huh. Interesting. He pulled a thwomp on me. Well, that's crap. The DLCs? Lotus! Welcome in. Welcome back. The DLCs. Oh! Is that is that a quest I can only do with the DLC? Oh, I'm doing it. Nah! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna wreck it! Just give me a second, I'm gonna wreck ya. Oh, beautiful. This is going really well. Like... I'm surprised that they're not trying to make it harder, and now I realize that they did. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! It appears that you already have the DLCs? No, I definitely don't. Or at least I don't, I don't have the expansion pass, if that's what you mean. Because I only bought the... I only bought the regular game. I didn't buy the DLC... stuff. Eh! Oh no. Okay, how do I dodge? Can I dodge? Oh, yes! I dodged him! Beautiful! He's done it. Now where? Wait. Okay. And then... Yes! Okay. That was a great use of the claymore, I think. Okay, now let's get a new weapon out. Like, uh... Iron Sledgehammer? Yeah? No? Maybe? Let's do Throwing Spear. Let's try that. Let me look. I... Yeah, I, I don't have the DLCs. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, come on. Give up. Give up now, son. No! Ah! Oh, he did it. He gave up. I'm so proud of him. Okay. Yes. Ow! <laughs> I thought... Okay, it looks like that just... I think I wasted that throwing spear, actually. Now I feel bad. Oh, what's this? Ow! You! Oh! 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 Ay ay ay! I've done it. Oh, attack power boost. Okay. Where's the blue thing? Oh, <gasps> did he pick it up? Did he pick up the blue thing? That was my blue thing. What's wrong with you? Let me try and get a good weapon out for this. Wait, why don't I just use my 
Bow and arrow. A bow designed for armed conflict. Okay. Let's try this one out, though. This is apparently very weak, but I want to try it anyways. Okay. And then... Let's make sure we have something out for him. Don't want to waste that on him, though. That's the thing. Uh... Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I can't- I can't dodge, man! Oh, I see what he's doing there. He's, uh... He's, like, grabbing rocks to throw at me. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, he's... It's actually way too fast. I can't deal with it. My camera can't even catch up to him. There we go. Yay! Huh! Ugh. This is actually the worst idea that's ever been conceived by any one man. Oh! Ya boy, Nick! Welcome in! You're from the Discord, hello! Welcome in. How's it going tonight? Are you from the... Trisket Discord? <laughs> uh, an opal? Was that really worth it? No, it wasn't. Why did I... Why am I doing this? I'm wasting all of my, like, weapons and ammo, it's awful. Oh god. Okay. Maybe we should eat something real quick. Uh. Okay. Just want to ask real quick if you're fine with tips or not, just so I know. I recently played Batwa for the first time. I am not a fan of backseating personally, so. Thank you for asking, though. Thank you for asking first, because. That has... That could easily become an issue. <laughs> so thank you. Um, how did you like the game when you played it for your first time? Uh, try this, I guess. The Saltines? Okay. <laughs> Where that one guy wouldn't shut the heck up. <laughs> yeah, Lotus invited me... Just... And I only joined because it sounded like such an amazing experience, and oh my gosh. It did not disappoint. It was amazing. He was... He was crazy. Like, I thought I could talk for a long time without anyone interrupting me, but oh my gosh. He was insane. I would say I look up to his ability, but I don't want to give him any bright ideas about looking up to him. Like, I don't want to inflate his ego, because holy crap, that was bad. When I first heard about what he was doing, I thought it was just, like, some electronic voice thing talking about, like, stocks. But it got much... differenter. When he stopped talking about the Tesla stuff, I think the, the conversation got a little bit uncomfortable to me <laughs> but um oh we did it i'm so happy yeah that was quite something to behold oh wow you get a lot of stuff for that wow it's definitely fun as heck i haven't finished all the shrines yet though but i have done a majority of quests and shrines oh okay that, yeah, this game has a lot of stuff on offer. Like, you need to... 
really uh this game is hard to complete <laughs> or so i've heard from the completionist and lotus and uh everyone else specifically the korok scenes that sounds ridiculous even with a guide like it sounds really ridiculous Okay, well now I have no weapons that I want to use, so this will be fun. You'll be delighted to know that I finally am fighting. Congratulations! Let me know how it goes. I hope I hope the battles... Well, no, you talked about how the battles can last like half an hour or more, right? Ow. I got the parry down, don't worry. I got it. There we go. Okay. And now we'll use this as our weapon. Actually, no, let's use this one instead. Even though it's not going to last very long. Lotus is an absolute nerd who decides she wanted to go to get all of the seeds. Yeah. Yeah, that's not something I would do, but, you know, good for her. That's what I say. Wait. No, hold on. No! 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 Oh, God. No, I screwed up. I screwed up. Please die. Okay. Uh. No. Ah! I hate it. No! Oh, they're so fast. They're so fast. Why do you hate me? Ah! <laughs> They're so fast, I hate it. Please stop. Please stop. I want to just go up on this rock and collect my thoughts. Please stop. Thank you. Really? Oh, you're going to put fire on your thing. Okay, that's cool. No, no! Oh, God. They can climb. That's bad. Okay, here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to forget that we have to wait for our bomb to come back. Ugh. <laughs> Oh god, please just learn how to aim a fucking bomb! Please! Please! No! Stop. Please. Really? Really? Who are you, Lionel Messi? Get the hell out of here. There you go. I'll be recording. Hey, I can't wait to watch it and skim through it because... It sounds like a lot of stuff to watch. <laughs> Unless you're going to be commentating, then I'm going to then I'm going to watch the whole thing and I can guarantee I will. I'll do it. I'll do it for you, Jugnal. Oh boy. This is too much. Please stop. Wait. Oh. Okay, hold up. No, stop shooting me. How dare you? Oh no, I have no- I have- I have no recourse! Okay. Get it, drop it. And miss. Completely? What the heck are you doing?! That was what I was trying to do. Oh my gosh, he's being clever. I see. Wow. These guys are a little harder to deal with, I think. Especially when you don't really have a weapon. God damn it! <laughs> Lionel Messi! What's wrong with you? You'll kill these creatures, but not those evil deer from earlier? Yeah, I'm sorry. I have a mindset that is... Uh... much more oriented towards killing bad creatures, the creatures of Satan, not the creatures of God. And plus, it's it's Easter Sunday. Why would I kill anything that was created by God? I can't do that to you guys. What's wrong with you? I definitely won't be commentating. Well, then I'm sorry. Really? 
Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh boy, okay. There we go. Still didn't do a lot of work on them though. Okay. Get him. Please. Let me take your 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 thing. Okay, and now uh where's that right here? Okay. Get that one. Okay. Oh, you don't have a weapon now. Isn't that interesting? Oh, die. Oh my actual god. Really? You're going to throw rocks at me? Cool. You know what I have? I have a freaking arrow to your face and I still got killed. Hit. Still got hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do this. When in doubt, leaf it out! Okay. Good. Very good. Dang it! So I know it said that you get double the damage if you throw something, but I don't really. I don't, uh. I wonder if it also does double the damage to your weapon, like the durability. Um. Boko Spear. Yoink! Can you parry with this? No, you can't. Okay. Boom. Boko Bat? Oh! This is exciting! Oh! Come on. Ah! <laughs> no! What's going on? Please. Torch. Yeah. Let me smack you around a little. Smack him. Oh. Oh, we did it. By the grace of Easter, we did it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you for sticking in there with me. I feel like we don't have many arrows left. Five? What the fuck? What happened? Why? Why did it happen? No. We need to make some stuff. <laughs> Let me hold. Two, three, four. Uh, okay. Cook that up. You allowed one to live? Oh, well, I mean, I'm just, you know, yeah. That's what I do, bro. I let one live to tell the story. So that everyone in the land may fear me. Oh, fuck! No! No! <laughs> God damn it. What happened? I'm so sad right now. What happened exactly? Uh. <laughs> Yay, skewer. Okay. I barely even know her. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, there are some arrows over here. There was a single arrow. I was hoping that there would be more. And I guess... Okay, yeah. I mean, it doesn't make much sense for me to leave him... To leave him, because they can't even talk, so how would he tell the story? So you know what I'm going to do? Your wooden bow is badly damaged. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot that I was using like a really bad bow. Ow! Oh, you, oh, you stupid. That was the wrong thing to do. Don't ever cross me again. If you hit Y in your materials, it'll sort them? Oh, uh... Yeah. Is, uh... Was I doing something wrong? Like, so I don't keep going down to here, you mean? Is that what you're saying? Because... I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Is there a way to choose how they're sorted? 
Speaking of that, I have two yummy, toasty Hylian shrooms to eat. Anyone else excited? <laughs> Are you saying that the Bokoblins don't have their own language to tell stories? Yeah. I am. I'm saying that they are simple-minded goblin fools, and they don't tell stories. They dance around. They prance around campfires. They're stupid. That's what they are. Not really. There's more choice in the clothing menus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have many clothes to choose from right now. I have uh, this, this, and that. It looks like it sorts those by, um, like armor amount, maybe? I don't want to do the 14. That's too much right now. Wait, what the heck was even sorted by there? I don't... Why? What is it sorting by on this one? I can't even think about it. I can't even figure it out. Maybe they use interpretive dance to communicate? Oh my gosh. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was really... That was really... Uh, Close-minded of me. I'm sorry. If you call someone small-minded, you are close-minded. So yeah, I'm sorry. That's true. I understand... I wonder what kind of plays they put on around that campfire. Oh, what are you? Oh, there's a dragonfly and a thing, an ostrich, a swan, a crane, a flamingo. What are you? Let's find out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was going along with it. I'm concerned about how difficult that encounter was, but I think it may be because I don't... What is... What the... What are you? What's going on? What is that? Oh, is it just the birdie? Oh, that's a big bird, though. I'm not sure if it's because I just wasted all my weapons on the the talus, maybe. I'm not even sure. We're supposed to be going this way. Whoops. That is a long way. Are you serious? That is such a long way. Uh, I don't want to walk that far. Oh my gosh. Game's stupid. I want to like... Can I drive a car? Or something? Is it like Realm Royale where I can press a button and mount a horse? What, what, what do you want me to do? Uh... You have stuff to do in between? Good. Because I'm going to be pissed if I don't. If one of the things to do in between isn't play a Fortnite game, we're probably done with this game on stream, honestly. Can't stand it. It's the worst game ever. I like the way... The grass moves when you run through it. That's pretty tight. I like the way they did the grass as well. It's not that... Well, they might be hiding it really... Really well. But the... You know, usually when you see grass textures, it's like... It's like a flat picture of grass... Swaying... From side to side. But this actually looks like individually rendered grass but like not you know they didn't like hand render it but you know what I'm saying just 
just look around for shrines on the way. Oh, I will. I'm gonna get these apples. I will. I don't know where the shrines will be, but I'll try. I was expecting to go in, in a straight line. Hello. Hello, Mr. Korok. What are you doing? What do you want from me? Oh, yeah, I got him. That was like Mario 64 when you have to grab the bunnies. And how apt. We're doing it on Easter. It makes sense, you know? Okay. I was intending to go on a straight line, like, the whole time, so... Hopefully there is a shrine somewhere in there. This tree looks very suspicious. Looks like the Weeping Woods. Not Wisp, sorry, Wispy Woods. <laughs> From Kirby. <laughs> looks like that kind of tree. In fact, this whole forest looks a little strange. Is it normal for a forest to have all these different kinds of trees? Because we got like a redwood here. Uh, this kind here, this kind here, this kind here. That's really weird. I don't know. I think they need to go to forest school. Learn a couple more things about how forests are constructed. Not really sure what I'm doing right now. I'm just running. Oh! What are you? Over the horizon. What be you? Ding. How far away is that? Not too far away, but it's also pulling us off our course. Ooh. No. Hey. Bad. Oh no. Are these guys also more pop? I mean, more powerful. Oh. Don't like it. No, these don't. These guys don't look particularly powerful, no. Which is good. Huh! Any materials? Oh, yeah. Plenty of materials. It's hard to see when it's in the grass. I'm sorry. But cobbling fang, horn, fang... Boom. So that shrine up there looks real cool. <laughs> I mean, hot. I guess that would have been better. Hi. Are those keysters? <gasps> keysters! Oh no. Those are keysters. We don't like them. Come on in. I'm ready. That took way too long to slap him, dude. Oh no. The blood moon? Oh no. Oh! Oh! Dude, so many wings! They're flying towards the blood moon. I don't like that. Better than the crypt moon? I didn't laugh at that, but I am gonna laugh at Buttspot saying the Jellicle moon. Because that's actually a thing. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Jellicle moon. When it rises, it's like, ah, oh, dude. Buttspot, you... You did something incredible there. Good job, buddy. And hey, I liked the... <gasps> oh, hey, what's up? I liked the attempt, Jugnal, I did. But Buttspot may have overtaken you, and that's okay. Okay. Hold. Cook. Cook. 
simmered fruit. <gasps> Wait, that gives us eight hearts? Is that what it's saying? Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe we'll just do, like, two? Three? Let's try three. Let's see how many that gives us. Burn, burn, burn. Six? What? Are you serious? What about one? What, just a single apple? Four? Dude. Okay, let's just... This is what we're doing for the next five minutes. We're just cooking a bunch of apples. Cooks... <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say that. That one stacks. <laughs> But just know that I approve of it when I'm not streaming. <laughs> but I have to maintain a certain level of innocence on stream. People have to think that I'm not a terrible person, so... Off-stream Trago would love that joke. <laughs> okay. I feel like apples are pretty easy to come by, aren't they? So, like, this isn't a total waste, is it? I hope not. If it is, uh-oh. Guess I'll have to grind off stream. Okay. I was trying to bait you so your producer could yell at you. He doesn't yell at me. He's uh, he's a good boy. Oh no. Let's see if we can get one more in before the blood moon. Come on. And hopefully it doesn't. It lets me pick it up. Come on. 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 Come Oh no. Hey, what's up? Ah, customer, are you traveling alone? This inn gets full marks for beauty, so I highly recommend taking a rest there at it. Ishmael doesn't yell at me, he just needs to trim his nails from time to time. River here makes for some lovely scenery. If you if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Millennia Sandbar it Millennia Sandbar, excuse me. The scenery there is every bit as lovely as the scenery here, it. I'm something of a connoisseur of beauty myself, you see. I simply cannot resist a beautiful sight. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you? You have the most beautiful features. Is it the ears? Is it, is it those? Ah, I do have many fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, would you indulge me? Sure. Head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by foul aura. Long bandana monsters, blah, blah, blah. It's in the very castle in those very blah, blah. And we work through blah, blah, blah. I wonder what blah, blah, blah. As a child, I would often suffer blah, blah. If only things had been blah, blah. I blah 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 Oh Link is a beautiful man <laughs> Hey he is Didn't they re Hey, spoilers, I didn't know those What the heck is that thing? This is what I'm talking about, spoilers, man. Why did they they spoil all those enemies for me? I haven't seen them before. I mean I did when I played it on the Wii U, but I haven't like, you know. Oh my gosh, this guy. He's from Wind Waker. 
Oh my gosh, he's actually from Wind Waker. That's his name in it, isn't it? So with the Blood Moon, did they... I thought they updated it so that it actually isn't random anymore. Is that the case? Like, I don't remember all the drama that occurred with the, the Blood Moon. My name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Or the fact that you look completely out of place in this game. That's another way to know. Wow. Blood Moon spawns after so many kills? Oh. Really? He looks like a Muppet? Are you talking about Beetle? Because I agree with that. So many kills. I didn't know that. I thought it was time-based. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling... Okay, yes. I don't have any rupees, holy crap! This is probably... This is the longest I've ever gone without getting a rupee. Look what I've got. I'll sell you... Um... My pants. Uh, I'll sell you these. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I think those are actually things you need. Isn't there... Amber? Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't be selling that stuff then. I thought Amber was something you could sell. I mean, you can sell it, obviously, but I don't know if it's something you should sell. Blood Jellicle spawns after so many kills. Mysterious Mineral. A base to make special clothing. Okay. Uh... Maybe we'll just sell this. I think that sounds good. I made you a little too excited, man. I'm sorry. Oh wait, maybe I should see what he's selling. <laughs> what have you got? Arrows? Oh. Oh. Yes. I would love some arrows. Oh, but if I... If I get 30, I can buy a pack of 5. Whereas otherwise, otherwise a pack of 5 would cost me 30. Okay, so you don't actually save any money. <laughs> Alright. No! Ow! I will buy... two arrows from you. Yeah, it works for me. Sure. Okay. Actually, let me see what the frog was. Thunderwing... In rains, when it rains, organs in his body produce a blah blah. An elixir offers electrical resistance. Oh, oh, buddy! Work with monster parts for an electricity resistance elixir. Oh, tireless frog, reduce, increase your maximum stamina. That sounds awesome. I need to get me one of them. Okay. I also like a horse, please. Hello. No, I want a horse, though. Like, that's the thing, is I want a horse. Because you have a bunch of horses, don't you? What? I thought I could get a horse here. It's horsies! Hello, horsies. Oh, a broom! Sorry, a mop. That's totally a br That's a mop. Never mind. I noticed that the... The bristles seem a little more flowy than a broom would be. Cool. Can I brush the horsies? <laughs> that would be so fun. Fabian Baggins, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Knit. Hi, Knit. Did you put Fabian up to this? Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the raid. Raid, raid, raid. 
Welcome in. Zen... Zenru? Maybe? Oh, I knit. You are silly. Thank you so much. And... Fabian. Hello. Fabian. Fabian? Fabian? Thank you so much. How was your stream and what were you playing? Oh! Oh, wait! Wait! I have something for this! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Hold on. Let me... Let me see. S.O. Fabian Baggins, thank you so much for joining the Tummy Tickle Train. The kitties appreciate the Tummy Tickles, and I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Island Mexicano, thank you for joining the Tummy Tickle Train. The kitties appreciate the Tummy Tickles, and I appreciate that's... And I... And I... Shoot, I messed it up. Island Mexicano, thank you for joining the Tummy Tickle Train. The kitties appreciate the Tummy Tickles... And I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me... Okay. S.O. Fabian... Fabian underscore Zenru. Zenru, thank you for joining the Tummy Tickle Train. The kitties appreciate the Tummy Tickles, and I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Fabian... Fabian... Fabian. I, you know what? I'm going to say... I almost said your name was Fabian Vagins. Hope that's okay. Baggins. Did it work? Oh, what the hell? I did not know it connected to that sound clip. I'm sorry. Fabian? 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 Fab Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> um, that's such a long message. The the one that I do when people follow. Hey, I just want people to know that their support is deeply appreciated. And the tummy tickle train needs all the help it can get, so. And two, just to clear the air, the tummy tickles are for the kitties. They're not for the people. You want... If you want tummy tickles yourself, you're going to have to get on a different train, because we don't do that here, okay? Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, <gasps> you're not a chicken, you're a rooster. Oh my gosh. Ah! The one that you do? I'm sorry. I mean, it's... I guess I'm not sorry, but... Oh, there's a shrine here. What the heck? I've been mucking about so much, I didn't even see that there's a shrine right here. That's pretty awesome. See, you made it off the... <laughs> I'm not drunk, I promise. <laughs> the Wago Kata. Hello, Kata. It could be a chicken if it wants to be. Thank you. Welcome to the stream island, Mexicano, by the way. I saw you were in the... In Einitz Raid to the channel where they were racing Wind Waker randomizers. And he thought that you were the the speedrunner that does Cuphead. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I see that you made it off the Great Plateau. Yes, I did. Uh, we did not do it too long ago, actually. Because we had to do, like, the four shrines and it took us a while to do that, and then bunch of hijinks occurred. I think if I've been streaming for like just about three hours, then I would say we got there about the two hour mark maybe. So it wasn't too long ago and I haven't made much progress since then. So right now we have to go talk to Impa. You remember me? Yeah. Yeah, of course I remember you. I pay attention. <laughs> it's what I do. I'm a streamer. I pay I pay attention to everything that doesn't matter. And then the stuff that does matter I completely forget about. I just realized that that may have come off completely rude. <laughs> I didn't mean to say you don't matter. Oh my god. I feel so bad now. That's not what I meant. Oh jeez. Typical streamer, yep. Uh, so... We're in a shrine. And now, we have to... Hello, what are you? 
And um, Baggins, how I'm leaving for you saying that now? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, dang it. Oh wait, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. But I have these things. Throw that, blow it up, activate this. And now... Do I... Is there something you can do down here? Uh, I was gonna ask Baggins how did Dark Souls go? I saw that the shoutout message said Dark Souls. And I also realized that that shoutout message is probably pretty long too, but... You know what's special? Is that Fabian... Fabi... Baggins is the, uh... The first channel that I've been able to use the shoutout command for. I just added it a few days ago, so thank you again. You're special. You're now enshrined... ...in our history. Oh, dude. Beautiful. I'm basically speedrunning this game, don't worry about it. Wait, can I get up there? No! Is this streamer super offensive? Hey, foolish one, welcome in. Oh, whoops, I didn't blow up the bomb. Uh, I'm not super offensive. I just accidentally told off a new friend. <laughs> and I... I mean, I know it wasn't the intention, but I do actually feel kind of bad that those, uh... That was a poor choice of words, basically. Finish dying at... Uh... Is that... Is that Ornstein and Smo? Or... Shout-out message was okay? Oh, okay, good. Thank you. I appreciate the, uh, the input. Oh! Oh. Oh no. Now we have to, like, move everything. We can move it all without it falling. I played Jenga. Dude, I actually had no faith at all that I could do that. That's pretty tight. Nice. I just get raided around. <laughs> I understand. What the heck? What was that sound? I mean, yeah, that that sound didn't make sense because I saw it already. Like, I saw it. So, like, unless something else happened. Oh, no. But, like, how do I do this now? Oh. Hold on. We'll just do the same thing we just did. But now add the little bar into it. Please, no. Do not ruin my masterpiece. Stop it. That's a bad metal piece. Bad. Okay, now we'll do this again. That looked a little aggressive. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like I'm in a season or an episode of Minute to Win It. Uh. Uh. Okay. Is that good? That is that is bad. Not good at all. I need to push it back a little bit. Oh, Ornstein and Smo, okay. Yeah, they're crap. I don't understand that fight. Like from a design standpoint, what were they thinking? It's like, oh, let's give you the opportunity to fight uh, two enemies at the same time. And then when you beat one, the other one absorbs their power. It's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of cool, but it's still kind of weird. Like, I don't know. It just didn't make sense to me. And yes, I'm saying this as a salty person who took, it took me so long to do that fight. It was terrible. Okay, now how do I, like, move you around, though? Wiggle your big toe. Like, Kill Bill lady. Is that good? Ow! It's... Ah, I thought it was close. 
Uh, Zenru, I'm not, I'm not sure I know what you're saying. Oh God. Not sure I understand is what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh oh. Is that good? Yes. No. Oh, this is bad. Please. Okay. Stop that. Pick this up again. Nah, but I gotta head to bed. I'm a sleepy boy. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for coming in. I, uh... I hope you have a good night. Get those sleeps in. And, uh, next time you come in, I will have some more scathing criticism of you. So look forward to that. <laughs> to me as well? Yeah. What the... What the you could have done. You gotta be. Oh, okay. Woo! We did it. Like the design kind of baffles you as well. You can do it. Thank you. Oh, I guess this works or not. <laughs> no. Yes. GG. Thank you. <laughs> that. Um. Oh, don't worry about making Island Mexicano feel bad. He's kind of tough and kind of used to it. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind if I ever do need to actually ostracize him for anything. But so far, seems like a pretty cool guy. Or gal. It's 2020. I don't know. I like him. Okay, we got this. We got the, uh... The thing. I'm so happy. What was that, like five shrines now? I think we're almost done. Like, I've heard this game is pretty short, so the fact that we already have five shrines, I think I heard there are like ten in the game. So I'd say we're about 50%, right? Is there any th reason to believe otherwise? <gasps> Falcon Man! What language is that? Oh, <laughs> uh, Buttspot is speaking angelical right now because I've been obsessed with the Cats movie and musical. So, yeah, the angelical thing is from that. Try 120. 120. 120 proof alcohol, like Everclear. Because I do have some of that. Uh, I don't really try it though. It's it's more like you know, every once in a while I'll pour myself a Diet Dr. Pepper and then I'll put like a droplet of Everclear in. Because any more than a droplet and I'm basically dead. So it's pretty short. You can 100% it in a day. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. Uh, maybe we can Maybe we can do it tonight. I don't know. I'm looking forward to that opportunity. I'm also looking forward to getting me, <laughs> me self a horse. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to hit the chicken to see if that if they go after me, but I will say that I was tempted. Like let the record show I was. One hundred twenty shrines. Do you mean shines in Super Mario Sunshine? Because Super Mario Sunshine, not shrine. <laughs> uh. I'm just kidding. It's like... eh. Um, oh, I have my leaf. Uh. No. Blow from behind. It does nothing. <gasps> Get on top of the stump and blow it from the front. Or not. Never mind. Um I don't really have a lot of arrows, though, is the thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's no time like the present. Do not waste a fire arrow on this. Are you kidding me? I can do this. Mother!
I'm heading out too. Have fun and good stream. Don't say a word either. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, Zenru. I hope you ha I hope you have a good night, and uh, sleep well. Sweet dreams. Dream of dream of me 100% in this game in the same night. It will make me feel better. You only get to keep two weeks of streams. I think it's two months. Oh, is it normal that Twitch deletes the past streamings? Um, yes. C uh, t Inet is correct. Uh, for two weeks, if you don't have Twitch Prime connected, but if you if you do have Twitch Prime connected, it's two months. And then for me, because uh, I can't stand to have stuff not be kept permanently I usually after a stream I'll highlight it or I'll highlight the like segments of it that I want to keep so that I don't have to worry about it later it's I don't not to speak down on twitch even though I am known to do that quite a bit and I'm kind of biting the hand that feeds okay but I think that twitch's way of doing things is a little annoying the fact that first of all you have to opt in that's another thing uh, if you're if you're streaming you need to opt in for the foolish one thank you for joining the tummy tickle train the kids appreciate the tummy tickles and i appreciate the support thank you so much was that faster i knit <laughs> um the oh what was i saying sorry you have to opt in to the whole past broadcast saving thing. You have to do it in your user settings. Like it's not there, it's not on there by default, and it's that's annoying to me too. And not only that, but searching for videos like past broadcasts or VODs, video on demands on Twitch, it's such a pain. It's terrible. I am not a fan of it. From the from the front to the back to the back to the back to the back. Hello, Zebgrin. Welcome in. I'm sorry. Is that is that Espy? Oh my gosh, that's really cute actually. If that's Espy. If it's not Espy, then why why is that here? Why is that cat here if it's not Espy? Espy! You can easily export to YouTube as a private video or just download it and back it up yourself. Yes. I wanted to make a BRB video or something. Oh! Like, uh, put a bunch of clips from your past streams into the video, like that kind of one. I've been seeing that lately where people... Uh, for the BRB screen it's like a bunch of clips play in the background. Which I think is really smart. It gives people an opportunity to, while you're gone, see what you offer to streaming. Like, what is your stream like? What do you do? What's your cadence? What's your sense of humor? What kind of games do you play? That kind of stuff. Ah! What are you? What the heck are you? What are you doing? What is that? Is that a... What are you? I'm going to burn you alive if you don't tell me your name right now. Well, it's too late. Burning you alive right now. Ah! What are you doing? He's got the camouflage. Oh! He's an Octorok. What? The heck? I don't like this guy. Okay. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I know what to do here. We just wait for him to try and smash us with the thing. Ishmael! Oh my gosh! It's Ishmael in an Easter basket! That's so cute! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Do the follow message however you want, Trago. It's just a little rough when you get to get a bunch at once. Is it rough as a viewer? Or rough on me? Because I don't mind it. I really want everyone to know that they all matter just as much. Uh, as... As each other like I, I feel like if I do it shorter shorter that someone might think that they mean less or something and I just don't want to do that to people 
I don't like this guy. Like, I don't mind it, personally. It's Mac. I follow any streamer with a kitty. Oh, okay. I see. Smile. Oh my goodness. Look at the kitties. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I remember, speaking of BRB things, um, or not, sorry, not BRB things, follow things. There was one stream I went to where they got raided and every time they got a follow, they played like a two minute song. And they were raided by like a 40 person stream. So they were playing for a long time. <laughs> I think probably like 20 minutes or something. And they weren't even playing anything other than the song. Like they were, they were streaming, but they weren't actually playing anything while they were doing the music. It was really, it was my first glimpse into the world of going overboard with the appreciation thing. <laughs> okay, this guy is obviously trying to make me mad, but it's not working. Because I don't get mad at games. Anyone who's seen me play Tetris 99 knows that. Well, welcome in, Zebgrin. I'm really happy you're here. I, uh... I hope you're doing well. Have you been playing anything on Steam lately? Oh yeah. I need- oh my gosh, I need to kill him. That's what I need to do. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh, suck it! Is that literally all I had to do? That was so easy. What am I even doing? That was so easy. A Hyrule Bass. Oh! This is the thing that I was told to make with the thing. I love Tetris 99. Oh, dude, me too. I think I've... Well, I've put, according to the Switch, 415 hours into it. Um, And then on Twitch, I think I have like 20-some hours in my highlights. I could be wrong. Uh, full disclosure, highlights to me does not mean my best moments. It means, like, basically my playthroughs. <laughs> which are not always the best moments. So, I know some people use highlights for actual highlights, but I do not. I love watching you play Tetris. You're a, a god. Thank you. I'm slipping quite a bit lately, though. I'm not nearly as consistent like I've I only win maybe one out of every I don't know seven or eight games as opposed to every two or three it's pretty rough honestly right now we're in a bit of a down downturn with uh, with Tetris and I also don't play it as much so that that definitely contributes to the the lower proficiency I've been playing Idol Wizard. Oh, what is what is that all about? Is it like a clicker game, like Cookie Clicker, that kind of stuff? What is this? Oh, hello, Sneaky River Snail. I don't know how sneaky you can be when you bioluminescently emanate blinding neon light. Which I, I think talking about bioluminescence and then explaining what it is, that was kind of redundant, I'm sorry. Don't mention don't mention Tetris 99 around Inet. Now she's loading it up and singing A type. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I could actually see that happening. So I hope she's actually doing that. That's awesome. I knit. Oh, Inid and Trago should 1v1 each other. 99 matches. Whoever wins the most against one another is the god. Um, I'm going to say no to that one. I don't think that's a good idea for either of us. Because that's way too many games. 
like even as short as the games can last in Tetris 99 that's not no because I think the average game lasts about 10 minutes maybe maybe a little less so we're talking about 99 times that which is 990 minutes and then if you divide that by 60 you get how many hours it is but I'm not going to divide it by 60 because actually hold on hold on we can check it out by doing 99 divided by 6 99 divided by 6 would be uh well 6 times 10 is 6 times 10 is 60 what the heck just happened? Have I been that low on health the whole time? Or did I just get there? Oh boy. Okay, 90 divided by 6. That should be easy, right? 99 divided by 6. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try it. 99 divided by 6. What the heck? Why is this so difficult? Wait, no, hold on. This is easy. Okay, 6 times 15 would be 90. Because 10 times 6 is 60. 5 times 6 is 30. 60 plus 30 is 90. So 15. And then one more 6 would be 96. So that's 16 <laughs> and then three and then three unaccounted for anyways it'd be like 16 hours straight that's not good no one wants to see that why is your name doggo if your theme is cats um because I love kitties. There's not really not really an explanation other than that. It's uh actually okay, there's actually an explanation. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to go through this quickly, so make sure you're listening. <laughs> uh my name on here used to be Tryhard Troglodyte because I thought that would be fun. I thought it would be a fun name because I'm not a tryhard at all and it's an alliteration, so I love it. I love alliterations. So it was a good name, and then someone reported it because they thought it was racist against someone named Trihex, who has a tryhard emote. They thought I was saying something about him, so I got permanently banned for that. But then they realized how stupid that was and how it made no sense at all, especially since I hadn't even heard of the guy until, until this happened. And then I changed it to what my Twitter handle was, which was tryhard troglodyte couldn't fit on Twitter. So I, sh I shortened it to something fun. And I thought trago doggo. That's literally it. That's the answer. And I changed it on Twitch to trago doggo after that whole thing happened. So there you go. That's the whole story. Um, but I do love kitties. Kitties are, I don't, I'm not saying they're better than dogs. I'm just saying I have a preference, and it's kitties, and I hate, oh, this sniper, oh my gosh, you are actually going, <laughs> gonna, gonna drown you, gonna drown you, whatever it takes, I'm gonna drown you, right now, right now. Wait, can I? Yes! I burned him alive. I'm so happy. Uh-oh. I'm burning alive. I'm less happy. No! My leaf! My leaf! My leaf is on fire! <laughs> oh no. And I need some food. That's not good. Let's eat that real quick. Okay, and let me get to the idle game. It's an idle game. It's way better than cookie clicker. 
3.2 hours? No. <laughs> Not even close. 99 divided by 6, an hour and a half? This can't be correct. No, it's not. No. It was, uh... It was definitely... F 16 hours, I think. Yeah. That's what I came up with. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Maybe Zebgren's right. Maybe... 99 games, 10 minutes each, is... Actually... 15 hours. Or, sorry, one and a half hours. Maybe I, did I do my math? No, I'm, I don't think I did it wrong. The answer is 46. I don't know what you asked, but always worked at school. <laughs> Thank you, yes. You're, you're actually correct. Thank you so much. That's ridiculous. Races for a name that has nothing to do with race. Exactly! Exactly! Someone's an idiot. <laughs> I was not very happy about it. Because I actually really like the name Try Hard Troglodyte, but then at the same time, it does have a more abrasive tilt to it than Trogodago. Like when you see someone in your stream that's named Try Hard Troglodyte versus Trogodago, I think you're going to be more inclined to be a little more wary of of try hard troglodyte I think I don't know like when you first meet them that's I think I don't know could be wrong how so you have many hours in Tetris 99 than me more hours I pretty consistently get into the top 20 and I've won once bro that doesn't mean anything it means that you don't play enough other like you need to put in 400 hours and you're gonna be winning every game in fact you're gonna get bored you're gonna be bored every time you play it because you'll just be winning every game I know it because I, I went through this it's like oh well there I go again winning winning again it's just I'm just kidding I don't uh, okay sorry it's a half joke so before I started winning more consistently. Every win felt like a victory. Like, oh my gosh, I did it. But every time you win after that, especially in a shorter span of time, it does. it's not like a big event anymore, is what it feels like for me. Like with Fortnite, I've only won 10 games. But every single win is like this big event, and it feels so good. Oh! <gasps> They're little baby slow little baby taluses. Oh my goodness. Can I pick you up? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <gasps> they are not cute. They are out to kill you. Uh-oh. Okay, well I guess I need to eat something again. Uh there we go, we'll eat that. This girl is on fire! <laughs> I just got Nintendo Online with Animal Crossing. Oh, really? That's awesome. I... wait. Wait, you didn't have it before? How was I... how would I be able to visit your island, bro? 16.5. Yes! My brain can't hold numbers inside anymore. What the heck? My child... Plastic brain died. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about neuroplasticity at a young age. Yeah, I'm really sad because it's not like neuroplasticity. It isn't permanent. It's not like a real. Ah, uh, no! Nah, don't blow up! Don't do it! Oh, they blew up, but I wasn't near them that time. Good. Um, I'm sad that I, like, obviously I don't have that neuroplasticity anymore. Thank you for confirming that it's 16.5, by the way. Um, 400, hun. <laughs> yeah, what's up? It's, yeah, it's just what I do, you know? 
It's the way the world works in Tetris. I mean, yeah. Am I proud? That of all the games I've put so much time into, that's the one that I put literally the most time into. At least, well, I think Rock Band I probably put more into, but they didn't have a counter for it. I'm not proud, but I'm not not proud. I don't know. Geo! Crispy! Crispy! Yeah! Hello! Oh my gosh, whose kitty is that? The one in the middle. The dopamine rush decreases as you... As your... G ganglia gets used to the rush due to increase in frequency? Alright, well, that that is... That is Professor Zebgren helping us with our psychology today. That is very interesting. Thank you. That really is interesting. The draw distance in this game is really good, it seems. Well, no, yeah, it's, yeah, aside from the shading. Really good. Wanting to murder you doesn't make them less cute. <laughs> exactly, I agree. The little little rock bomb monsters, they're so adorable. I wish I could have a family of them that wouldn't blow up. 16 days without sleeping? No. No, not not that. No, just 16 hours without without sleeping. No, oh no, these guys are the big ones. I'm not ready to fight the big ones. Uh, I don't want to do it. Uh... Wow, that didn't do like anything. Okay, cool. No! Ah, what the? Who's? Who the? Who went out? Oh! What the heck? Get out of here! Get out of here, dude! What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna smack you with this mop, bro. Let's go! Get out of here! Your wooden mop is badly damaged? Well, guess I don't give a crap, dude. I'm gonna smack him with a spear. Huh! Yes. I'm sorry, the... I... There's a lot of chat to keep up with. Please, apo uh, please apologize. No, you don't apologize. I apologize. Give me a second. <laughs>